So that's the ideal date, okay? You have to plan the date, not just, okay, I'm taking her out for dinner. This is boring, she's done this many times before with other men, it's not memorable. So when she goes on your one, she's always gonna think about this one, even when she, even if it doesn't work out. And you go on a date with, an, uh, she goes on a date with another man in the future, it's never gonna match up to this date, even if you didn't like her. It's always good to know that the woman is always going, I wish that, I wish this new guy that I'm with did what that guy did. That's pretty good, yeah, that's a Rub good place to be. With the sand. So, um, yeah, don't forget your bag of sand. <laughs> In today's video, we want to talk about some really bad first date ideas or just date, first date ideas. First date ideas. I said to Luba, what about a video about really bad first dates? And Luba said, oh, I know. And so she wrote a list. I thought it's your, uh, it's like, it's your mistakes. And yeah, so this is a list of things that I've done in the past. Don't do them. <laughs> now, maybe I have done some of these because I don't even know what these are. Okay. Because so, I can't read your writing as well. Okay. I mean, it is on purpose. So, uh, yeah, we more and more guys are visiting Europe to meet the ladies and they planning their trips and they want to do something extraordinary or something on, or somebody not doing enough. Somebody rely on the ladies. So we're not going to discuss all that, but there's certain points that we think that you should avoid by the, for the first date in order to not get disappointed, to have a bad date, to have a bad aftertaste of, uh, of the date and um, end up in a friend zone as well. So first is do not go somewhere very expensive. Okay. That's the end of the video. Uh, like the reason I'm saying that is that sometimes guys want to impress lady so much and for the mm. first, like, and they put this like level. So if you, uh, I don't mind if you're dating a lady and you really, really like her and you know, you wanted to go to some, like a lot of guys visiting Michelin restaurants in Europe because it's a lot of them there, here, especially in Spain as well. And so it's cool because it's experience that if you like interesting food for you, it's also going to be. But if you go on a first date for that, then it's like she kind of expecting that mm. all of your dates would be that good or that expensive or something like that. So you set up a mark and we do not recommend to do that, of course, because it's not how you're planning to spend your vacation and spend your money. So that's why going to somewhere super expensive, it's a bad date idea. For the first date. For the Maybe first for date. the last day you're there or something, you can take it to a very nice restaurant or something or like that. Or in the middle, you know, yeah. to have this like, because we say that relationship is like a roller coaster and you need to go up. And um, not choosing like place for just coffee date, uh, like some, uh, some noisy and like it's also here, or we can say that like a second uh, point is that super noisy places. Yeah, at the end, like stick around and we'll say what the perfect uh, date setup is for the first date. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the next one is, so it's, it's a noisy place. Let's say noisy place because guys like they do okay. not think about that in advance. For example, some restaurant mm. or something, especially if it is a big holiday. Like we had a guy who really like it was not a very good, well organized trip for Christmas, and he thought, oh, I will come, I will book something. No. If you want to go to certain places, especially if there is a holiday, you need to book things in advance. Like everything, even in Spain here, you need to book, you need to make a reservation. So think about that online. Every website has English one. So go and book it. But some noisy place, like yeah. some coffee shop that is like all the time, it's mm. it's impo it's like it's so yeah. annoying, and you will have such a bad like you will get annoyed. You will not hear her. She will not mm. hear you. You won't understand each other. It's a horrible first date. Yeah, the coffee machine noise is the worst, isn't it? It's the worst. It's just the worst. But even if, a, if it's a restaurant, maybe it's like a super noisy. You know, some restaurants are like all about the party yeah. atmosphere. May not be the greatest idea for the first uh, day. Or outside here in Spain, for example, they all around the uh, around the um, road. You see it like almost like the car is going oh. beep beep brr, brr, and you see it. Yeah. And, like they enjoying that. I don't know. Maybe they not listen to each other. Maybe. Mm. Okay, so that's that one. So uh, what was the next thing? So I can't read it. Super active. Gentlemen, just wanted to invite you to our free Telegram community where you can get in touch with me and Striker directly, talk to our other subscribers, discussing some questions, having like a little community that we built where we share some interesting videos from daily life, some updates about the clients, about their trips and answering all of your questions. So join the link down below and we see you there. One super active is like the date when you, um, like the guys planning something uh, multi activities so we do recommend to go to different places right like we say that one and yeah, we'll, strikers say we will speak about we'll that speak at, about the, at the end but we do recommend but sometimes guys taking it a little bit wrong and what's happening they tell uh they planning the dates 
and it's almost like go hiking then expensive like luxury restaurant where she need to dress differently mm. then they go do budget jumping then they go to the boat trip then they and it's all on the first date and so like you know the lady can get no the guy can get sweaty you said like the lady can get sweaty the the, guy. they both can get <laughs> relatively sweaty it's just normal <laughs> but it's like it's too much, you know, and you get tired. And especially if you do it like right after you just arrive and, and like you may get tired or she can get tired. So yeah. too many activities on the first date, it's also not good. Yeah, we do recommend, say for a second date, an activity that, uh, you know, you go out somewhere, you do something, maybe it is hiking or something like that. We actually talk about something, we call it the, your place of power. And what you can do is, if it's a second date or a third date, fourth date, this is if you're you know, spending like a week or whatever in, over in Europe, you can choose something that you feel comfortable at. So let's say it is horse riding, for example, and you've ridden horses before and you feel comfortable on them. So it becomes your place of power. So she's gonna be a little unsure, but you're gonna be very sure. So you can lead in that interaction. If it was the other way around and she loves horse riding and you're scared of horses, you're not gonna come off as very confident, which is gonna lead you to look not very masculine, and then all of a sudden you'll be riding a Shetland <laughs> pony. <laughs> you'll be riding a Shetland pony, or she's riding Black Beauty, and it's not gonna go very well at all. Yeah, pick the horse right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, that's all we need to say for that, isn't it? Yeah, then uh, the first uh, bad date is like, sometimes people over romanticize, and they think, oh, we should go to the cinema. It's not like for the first date. Like, uh, it's what do you mean? I mean, decide at the cinema. Because like people to see a romantic do, do movie. different things in a movie. Uh, and oh. uh, if you old men haven't right. done it for a long time, so it's not well, I don't know what their the, problem. I don't know what happens in the movie theaters over in Ukraine, but it must be different from the West. <laughs> so, so uh, not listening to that grumpy one, but like uh, some guys, they do say that they want to go to the lady to the movie because they think it's super romantic, they can kiss on the last uh, row and everything, but... And I've been missing out. <laughs> I've been missing out. Uh, and so it's not good because you can't talk, you need to get to know each other, like the language of the movie can be strange. So I don't know, maybe you think that you would never go on the first date for, for the cinema, but I took it from example of one guy, that's why I'm sharing that, and it's a bad date idea. Very but bad. In fact, it's the worst. Date. You sit there in silence, not getting to know each other, not like, well, I just don't get it, you're watching a movie and you don't even know each other. You've gone with a literally a, not a complete stranger, but someone who's close to, closer to a stranger than, than what they are a good friend. Mm -hmm. And you've decided to sit in silence in the dark and watch a movie that you have no idea whether it's gonna be good or not. I don't understand that as a date. I mean, if you go later, like you can hold hands, understand? Striker. Okay, let's keep going with this, okay? It's not a good um, idea. Also places, like an, another bad idea is that, for example, you came uh, and a lot of guys, especially in Ukraine, it was happening. Uh, you came to the country that you haven't been before and you want to go to the place that you're very, very interested. Like it can be military museum. It can be like airspace museum. It can be something like marine museum. Some place that you really want, like you, you like this is your hobby, this is your interest, and you okay. want to bring her there. It's okay to bring on a second or third day when you're traveling together, but not on the first one. Because if if you both are interested in that and you spoke about this, this is good. But if you are going to the place that is very interesting for you, but absolutely not interesting for her, mm. she will take it as like, and I heard it, unfortunately, I heard it before. She's saying like, Luba, I think that he is just a tourist, you know, he, it, that, it doesn't feel like we are, are dating. It feels like he's just came to see the Poland, see Germany, see Spain, see Italy, etc. So do not give her feeling that you came there just for this museum. And if you're very interested about this, either like maybe it depends, maybe you come to Germany and she live in her apartment and you stay there. And if she doesn't want to go, go by yourself if you really want to go or do not go on the first date. Agree? Mm, I agree. That's pretty much it, really, isn't it? And Try friends, keep... and friends, like it's it's different, like it's rarely happened, but do not agree, kind of like for your first date to meet with a bunch of people. Oh yeah. Uh, like yeah. strangers, e either like it's like in your country, because sometimes the ladies are in US and you're meeting them there and maybe they're traveling to your state. Do not meet with anyone. First date is just you and her. 
You want to get to know her enough before you meet her friends because you don't know what her friends are going to say or think. They may say something. Somebody's so, speaking or yeah. somebody not and it's like, it's but, amazing. But, but also they may say something because they don't know you and maybe you did something but you didn't know and then they're going to say, well, what's he doing? But you need her to know you first so that she can at least have your back. If something happens, she can say, no, no, he's okay. Like I spent two days with him the other day. He's awesome. So. Okay, Mr. Pickupper, tell the ideal date. Okay. So this is what we say is the ideal first date. You don't want to have one date. People think I need to go to a restaurant and then I'm going to eat dessert, and then I'm going to drink coffee, then she's going to get in a taxi, and then she's going to go home. This is boring. This is one date. So what you want to do is you want to make the date memorable for her by taking her on a series of different dates, even though they're not really different dates at all. But that what, what you're getting her to, what you want her to feel is that she's had multiple dates. She's had an adventure. She didn't know what was going to happen. Now, we're not saying you have to take her and drop her off in the forest somewhere and say, see if you can get back by yourself, which could be quite funny. Um, I don't. Yeah. For the drop next in one. forest and good luck uh, card. No, so, so you could, first you could start off by meeting somewhere for a coffee or for a cocktail. Then you could go out to a restaurant. And the, and the journey from where you start to the restaurant is also another little mini date, right? You've walked through the park, you've talked. Then you're going out for dinner, if you want to do it that way. Then don't sit there and just blob out after you've eaten and wait for dessert to come. Go and get dessert. So you've already, you know, because you're onto it, you have looked up. It is a cool looked uh, sorbet. Looked up, guys. Looked up. It's you plan important. this. You plan the whole. This. You plan it. Right? This is not. This is not accidentally happening like this. This is planned out. We talk about it in the scene that you are the director of a play and you get to decide who the characters are to make the night and the play end how you want it to end. So. You could say, well, I know of a great sorbet. What's that stuff? Sorbet? Mm -hmm. That's the yes. sorbet. Sorbet shop down here. It's incredible. You should try it. I have never tried it, so we should all try it. And then so walking there is another, another adventure. Then when you get your sorbet, you're sitting, I don't know, at the beach or at the park or something like that, and it's getting dark or it's getting late. This is another... And uh, you take uh, off your shirt. You take off your shirt. You start, you know, rubbing yourself down with like... Sand. With, <laughs> with sand and oil. <laughs> Striker. <laughs> so you end up looking like a crumbed sausage. Um, so that's... that's Are you that, also thinking about that now? <laughs> Thinking, where's my crumbs and oil? Where's my sand and oil mixture I made up last week? I'd see something. <laughs> anyway, so that so that's the ideal date. Okay, you have to plan the date, not just okay. I'm taking her out for dinner. This is boring. She's done this many times before with other men. It's not memorable. So when she goes on your one, she's always going to think about this one. Even when she, even if it doesn't work out, and you go on a date with an, uh, she goes on a date with another man in the future. It's never going to match up to this date. Even if you didn't like her, it's always good to know that the woman is always going. I wish that I wish this new guy that I'm with. Did what that guy did. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's a Rub good place to be. With the sand. Um, yeah, don't forget your bag of sand. <laughs> no matter what time, what season is that, or where you're going. But the thing is that very important, super important. The guys forgetting two things. First, you are director of the play. Remember, and even if she lives in this Germany or she lives here or there, please, guys, plan your things. Because if you live in a country, if you live in a city. You do not enjoy, like you do not go to different places, different restaurants. Maybe she has like some coffee shop around your home and that she's going. So do not rely on your woman where to go. Yeah. Do not rely. You can ask her in communication. What is your favorite place? Where would you like to see? What you haven't been visiting yet? So and plan to go there, but do not ask her. So where should we go? No, it's your city. I don't know. You should tell me where should we go? So you need to make the homework in advance. This is number one. And number two is that very much listen to me pay attention to your shoes so we don't want you to have an incredible date on your opinion and she had blisters all over mm. the place like because she came on very nice but very uncomfortable shoes so depends on how she looks like you can also like you need to have almost like plan b c and d so if she's like you see that she's comfortable you can ask her even like are, are your shoes comfortable for walking then you walk to that part because what will happen because ukrainian ladies are like that she will hold the pain but at the end, she will remember this pain and she will initiate it with you. Yeah, you, with can, you can say to her before, like, uh, we're going to meet here. And then I thought we'd go for a walk and then we would go to the restaurant. So you can say that. So she goes, okay. She well, will, yeah, she will feel more comfortable because yeah. Ukrainian ladies like adore their high heels. But really, like, no matter how convenient they are, you can't walk that far with them. So make sure that you pay attention to details. It's important and show that you're caring. And also, like, if she came on high heels and you really, really have a good time and you want to spend more time, you can say, like, let's maybe... You can give her your shoes. Your shoes. 
uh, after you take off your shirt. Yeah. Uh, and you just uh, <laughs> you just take your and you uh, maybe you say like let's maybe you want to change and we will like walk some more or something. Maybe you want to put on a bikini. It's, we just had dinner. It's, maybe you want to put on a bikini so you feel more comfortable take... walking with me to the through the park. So as you see, we are we are very good at advising you what to do on the first date, but uh, definitely l listen to us. Listen to us; it will benefit. Yeah, it's sure. all about planning. It's really not that difficult. It's just that we always just in the West. I'm going out, taking her out for dinner. I just think how boring it is. You're literally going to sit there and eat. And it's not horrible, you know. It's just like you are right that it is like everybody doing that. You want to be different. You it needs want to be her, an experience. You, you want her to remember you. You want her to think of you like wow. <laughs> okay. That's all okay. for now. So, so subscribe to Telegram, please. I'm waiting for you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's waiting for you there with her <laughs> oil and sand mixture. All right, we'll see you later.